Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So today <laughs> I have a very exciting video for us. I'm gonna be showing you how to do your own tape and hair extensions at home. So if you've never done this before, don't worry. Tape-ins are probably one of the easiest hair extension methods to do on yourself besides like clip-ins or something like that. Tape-ins are super easy. And this video is gonna be very beginner friendly. So if you've never done this before, I'm gonna walk you through everything like step-by-step, -step, placement, all my tips and tricks. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one. So if you wanna see how I do that, then keep on watching. Okay, so the hair I'm gonna be using today is this hair here. Look at this. So this is from West Label Hair. So big shout out to West Label for partnering with me on today's video. So if you don't know about them, they're a new up and coming hair extension company. So the owner, Tessa, is Canadian, so love that. Like, love supporting Canadian female entrepreneurs. And the story behind the brand is she's been wearing hair extensions for years and years, and you and I know, like, hair extensions can be kind of hit or miss. So she really wanted to create a brand that's, like, focused on quality. So you can see how amazing these look just, like, right out the box. Super silky and thick from root to tip. And they're all cuticle aligned and ethically sourced so all the donors are paid fairly and it's just like overall amazing hair and an amazing brand. And look, they come in this little tube. It's like rose gold tube, which I thought is super cute. So the colors that I have, I have two colors. So I have this one here, the darker one is espresso. And then this one over here is caviar and I have one pack of each. So each pack comes with 100 grams of hair. So 50 grams, 50 grams, 100 grams. So this is the espresso. And then I also have the caviar here as well, which I'll show you. Looks like that. And I actually washed one, like half of each pack. So you guys can kind of see the difference of what it looks like. So this is fresh out of the box, this one here. And then this one over here has been washed once. So the quality is still there, still super soft and beautiful. And I washed them just to like show you because sometimes if they're not cuticle aligned hair and the cuticles, if you don't know, like the cuticles on your hair are kind of like the scales on a fish. So if they're all aligned in the same direction, the hair is like super silky, it's flowing, everything's good. But if one some like or some of the strands of hair are upside down and the cuticles rub against each other that's how you get crazy matting and tangling and stuff like that so you can always tell because i've like tried these other hair extensions before and after i washed them they matted up like right away i was like Ugh. yeah this is why you like don't cheap out on hair extensions <laughs> i am super excited to be working with them i think you guys are really gonna love their hair i have a coupon code which I'll leave the information on the screen and everything in the description box as well. So if you want to check them out, look there. All right, so how many packs do you need? How many pieces? That's always the question. So just for reference, this is 50 grams of hair and the packs that West Label come in packs of 100 grams like this. So that's what that looks like against my head. So 100 grams would be good if you already have like longer hair and you just want to add a little bit of volume and a little bit of length. One pack of these would be perfect for you just to add like a little something something. But if you have short hair like me, then definitely get at least two packs. So that's what this looks like against my head. So this would be the perfect amount for me just because I do have short hair and a blunt cut. So you do need a little bit more hair just to like blend out that cut. So I'm gonna be placing the hair extensions up pretty high on my head just to again, blend this out, but I'll show you how I do that later on. So yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited to get started. So I'm gonna release these bad boys and let's get into it. All right, so now that you have your hair, it is time to prepare for the application process. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wash your hair with clarifying shampoo, no conditioner, no leave-in conditioner, no other hair products, just wash your hair with shampoo. This is the one that I use, so I recommend this one, but you can use any 
clarifying shampoo that you like. And that just kind of strips your hair of all the oils or any other hair products or, that might get in the way of the adhesive from sticking to your hair. So you really just wanna have like clean hair ready to work with. I do recommend blow drying your hair and flat ironing your hair as well. So the texture kind of matches the hair extensions and it'll just make it easier to work with. And as far as your hair extensions go, you don't have to wash them before you use them. I actually recommend that you don't. They're gonna be easier to use just like straight from the pack. And for the hair, I just have it laying on a table in front of me just like this. And just a quick little tip, so once you get started and you wanna pick up a piece of hair, grab it from the end that has the tape and then pull downwards like this. And that's just gonna be a lot easier for you to pick up versus if you pick it up like this and go up this way, the hair might start to like catch on each other and it'll just kind of create a mess. So just to keep everything like neat and orderly, pick up a piece, move down like that. And for tools, what you're gonna need are a hairbrush, of course, a comb for sectioning like this, and then some hair clips as well. I recommend these kind of clips, like the crocodile clips. They're really good for sectioning and holding your hair, but I also have like a bunch of clips here. So whatever you have is good, just to like section out your hair. And I also recommend if you're gonna be doing this, if you can, have a mirror in front of you and then set up a mirror behind you so you can see the back of your head. The way I'm gonna do it right now is I'm gonna like use my camera monitor to see the back of my head. So whatever I'm filming, I'm gonna see that. But if you're doing this at home, what I used to do is just like get a full length mirror and adjust it. So you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so now we are gonna get started with the application process. So the way I'm gonna show you today is, again, very beginner friendly, very easy. I'm just gonna show you like straight across rows, similar to how you would put in clip and hair extensions. You just like add one row, put down some hair, add another row and keep going straight across. I'm not gonna do any like crazy placements today. Once you get the hang of this, since you are with tape and hair extensions, you remove them every six to eight weeks to put them back in if you wanna keep wearing them longer. And once you kind of get the hang of it, you're gonna be a pro and you can try like different kinds of placements. So the way I'm gonna show you today is like straight across rows like this. But once you get the hang of it, you can try like the U-shape application where it's kind of like U-shape sections. And it does kind of blend a little nicer. And if your hair extensions are at an angle like this and you wanna put up your hair in a ponytail, it becomes much easier because they kind of lay that way. But I'm just gonna do the straight across rows today because it's honestly it's easier when you're doing it on yourself. And again, if you're doing this for the first time, it's way easier than like worrying about any other different shapes or placements or anything like that. Um, but again, once you get the hang of it, you can also try the brick laying placement too, where if you have two pieces side by side like this on a row, then the next row on top, you would put this piece so it covers like the middle of these two pieces just for like blending purposes. Again, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm just gonna put them in, girl. But one more tip, if you do have more than one color, since I have a lighter color and a darker color, you can actually use one of each color in the same sandwich. So if you wanna have like the light one on top, it'll give you a little bit more of a highlighted look. And if you wanna have the darker one on top, it'll give you a little bit more of a low lighted look. So you can really play around with the colors and like make it your own. You can actually, if you don't have highlights, you can give yourself highlights with tape ends and you can really play with your color. It's actually pretty fun. You can give yourself an ombre effect if you don't have that. So yeah, extensions are really great like that. I don't have any particular color placement in mind. I'm gonna just kind of like wing it and like put them wherever I feel like looks good in the moment. And yeah, that's the great thing about tape ends too. You can always like just take them out and do it again if you really wanted to, if you like don't like how you did it. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna turn around and show you how I do it. Okay, so for my first section, you wanna leave enough hair so that if you did wanna put your hair up into a ponytail, it would cover the tapes. So I recommend about like two fingers width. That's about maybe an inch or so. Maybe do a little bit less, something like that. 
And then you also want to make sure that you have hair left around the perimeter as well. So you don't want to bring the tape all the way to the edge because then, you know, you might see it. So make sure you have like maybe about like a finger width of hair on the, the perimeter as well. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so this is what my first section looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the tape. So just grab a little tape, take off the backing, and then I'm gonna start in the middle. So what I do is I take the tape and then you wanna apply it not like right at your scalp, but just kind of right under the parting. And I like to put the, the tape on top and I'll explain why in a second. But yeah, you wanna make sure you don't put it right at the root because you want enough movement like this. So if you can move the tape up and down like this, then you did good. If you can't really move it, then you might've you know, put it a little too high. So I'm just gonna place that one in the middle and then place two on the sides as well. So I'm gonna apply one right next to it. You don't want them to touch like right next to each other like this. You do wanna have a little bit of space in between. So you don't want them like rubbing right next to each other. So that's my next one. And then you can see I have enough hair left on the side as well. So I'm gonna apply one more on this side, just like that. All right, so now this is the fun part. So I like to do it, this is like the method that I like to use where you put the tape on top of your section and then lift this up and then apply the bottom tape. I can show you the other way in the next row where you put the bottom one first and then the top one, but I think this way is a lot easier. So you just press this on and make sure that it grabs enough hair for your sandwich. So when you lift this up, you can see that it picked up like this much hair, which is perfect. But if it doesn't pick up enough hair, you just wanna make sure that you really stick it so that you pick up enough hair. If you don't have enough hair in between your sandwiches, then that's where you can you can get breakage if you know there's not enough hair to support the extension then your hair might rip off <laughs> so that's why this is really important to make sure that you have enough hair in between your sandwich and you also don't want to have too much hair where the two pieces of adhesive don't meet so i like this way because it kind of picks up just the right amount of hair but you do obviously want to just have an eye out just to make sure that you have a good amount but this way I feel like it does pick up enough hair and if you can still see or feel the adhesive through the hair then you have a good amount that you can meet the next piece. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna clip these up. All right, then you just wanna grab the other half of your sandwich and apply it to the underside. And you do wanna make sure that you kind of take your time with this so you don't have like random hairs caught in your sandwich that aren't supposed to be there. So really just like move out any hairs that are not supposed to be there and make sure that you make a clean application. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of line it up like that and then boom, stick the sandwich together. You can see I kind of missed right there. Honestly, that's fine. But really do try your best to line it up exactly. And then you just wanna push them together like that. All right, so find the tape, line up the edge like that, and meet them together. So that one was way better. So yeah, you'll definitely get the hang of it. Like maybe your first one might be weird like mine was, and then you'll get the hang of it right away. And then just push them together, and then line it up. All right, so that is the first row there. So then I'm just gonna section out the hair for the next row. So what you wanna do is you do wanna have like a little bit of hair in between each row so that the extensions aren't laying right on top of each other. And it will help with the blend if you have some of your hair in between each row, so, or in between each section. So that's gonna be kind of like the hair in between. And then I'm gonna section out a little bit more hair for the extensions. And I'll just quickly show you if you wanna do the lower part of the sandwich first before the top part, what that looks like. So what you would do is you would section out the hairs that you wanna apply the tape to. So you want it to be like the width of the extension. So something like that. Hold on, it's too much hair. So 
So something like that. And then you would grab your extension and place it under so the sticky side is up and then apply the hairs to it like that. And then you would stick the top piece on so you would just line it up like this and then press them together. So it's kind of up to you, it's really preference. This way is the way that I used to do it and then I learned that you could stick the top piece on first and personally I find that to be easier and quicker to do but if you like this method you can also do it it's this way is a bit easier if you want to control how much hair goes in between the sandwich but I don't know I feel like the other way is just like quicker and easier so I like doing the top piece first but that's what that looks like and see what I mean if you want to do like the bricklaying method where you where you get the piece and then you stagger them so that you know you won't get these gaps but honestly, don't even worry about it because like once I keep going, it'll just like fill itself in. So I'm just going to keep going with this section. So I'm going to do, I'm going to continue on with the over method since I like that one better. So I'm just going to stick the next piece right next to it, but leave like a tiny space just like that. Press on the hair so it grabs the right amount of hair and then and then I'm gonna clip that up and then we can apply the bottom piece. And you might run into something like this where you almost have enough room to put a whole piece of tape, but not quite. What you can actually do is you can cut these in half. So you just give it like a little snip snip. And then you can apply a half piece there. So that's a really good hack, especially around the edges or like around your face. Just put like a little half piece in and that will help with the blend. And another thing to keep in mind, if you wear glasses, just be careful about putting the tapes like right behind your ear because it might catch on when you put on your glasses. So I'm just going to put a podcast on and get in the flow with this and let you watch me because it's pretty repetitive. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite because I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew because all that is stuck in my head is me and you. Hey, hey, hey. So I just took a break from doing the back of my head to focus on the front because I really want to make sure that I have enough pieces to blend out this front part. So I'm, and then with whatever I have left, I'm just going to move it up on the back as well. So this is what I have so far. So she's looking cute. Look at that. Look at that. So yeah, I just need to blend out this front part here so everything looks pretty seamless. So I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing section by section and start putting some face framing layers. I feel like it's been hours, 
but I'm finally done. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, look at this hair. I love, I love it, I love it, I love it. So yeah, when it comes to blending short hair, you really have to end up putting the extensions pretty high. Like I went up like pretty much all the way almost up to my part just because my hair is so blunt and short. But if you don't have super short hair, then you really don't have to go that high. You can probably end like around your temple level. It really depends on the length of your hair and how thick your hair is. Like I said before, you do have to wait, I think like 24 to 48 hours before you can wash your hair. Honestly, when I have tapins in, I wash my hair like once a week. So I'm probably gonna wait like a whole week before I wash my hair. And I do have two other videos about how I wash my hair with tape and hair extensions. So if you wanna see that, then I'll link those down below. And I am gonna make some other videos on like how to take care of them, how to style them. So let me know if you guys have any questions about like what you wanna see in the comments down below and I'll make some other videos for you. I hope you found this video informative and if you are gonna do your own tape and hair extensions, send me a DM on Instagram cause like I wanna see them cause that'd be really awesome. But yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. I'm gonna stop talking cause I feel like it's been so long and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.